Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Emirata Rome as we are playing as the Roman Republic. So before we got started in today's episode, I went ahead and spent all of our money uh, just constructing some buildings here. Uh, you know, pretty much any way where we could. I built a lot in Africa since Spain. There's really not much to build here. There's there's not enough cities, frankly, uh, for us to, to build much. So I built a bit in Africa. We have a, a little bit of territory here that's having some, some loyalty issues. For the most part, Africa is pretty loyal to us. Uh, by this point. Uh, also built a bit in the capital as well. And then the last thing I did is I set up our console to sponsor games in this province here because we are having some real loyalty issues and there's really nothing to be done about it. We're already sitting on the harsh treatment. I again, you have these problems whenever you have a, uh, uh, a province that you, you just don't have much of the state to. Uh, which we don't. So there's really no uh, trade goods, you know, increase in opinion, and just causes a lot of issues. Uh, so what we'd probably have to do here, because I don't know if there's really going to be much of a way to solve this outside, of course, increasing stability and decreasing the aggressive expansion. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm not entirely sure what we'd have to do. We'd have to either conquer these guys here, or uh, we'd have to, uh, you know, give up the, the one province, which, which is always a... Uh, uh, potential option. So if we were to just take a look at this here, uh, we could release them as a client state if we wanted to in order to just reduce this issue, uh, which, you know, if they're going to rebel anyway, then that's one possibility. Now, of course, we could always just put the rebellion down, but it's, uh, you know, just busy work that we could avoid if we wanted to. The other thing I wanted to, to mention here in the beginning of the episode is, if you guys recall last episode and, and that one conflict, over this, this province here, we didn't get it in that peace treaty, and I was c confused what had happened there. Uh, if you guys remember, when we started that siege, this tribe that, you know, I don't think exists any longer, uh, the tribe that was here, they were already having their their uh, uh, fort here sieged by another tribe, this tribe that now owns all this. And so when we helped them take the siege, it didn't go to us, it went to them because they were there first. They're at the siege first. So they were the one to occupy the state. So when I was grabbing everything up, that one wasn't even an option because we weren't currently occupying it. Uh, so that's what happened there. I was kind of confused. I wasn't entirely sure. And then the last thing we're going to do here is we talked about declaring war on these guys here once the aggressive expansion gets a bit lower and uh, trying to do this all in one war, although technically it would have been have to have to be two wars since these guys are not part of the uh, defensive league here. And so since they weren't part of it, I was going to have to declare war on them separately. However, one person noticed that if we declared war on these guys here, I suppose you might be able to do it with them as well, because uh, they're allied to this blue tribe too. These are both in the defensive league, and they're allied to the blue tribe. So by declaring war on them, you'd bring everybody, all the tribes that are left in Spain. Uh, or I guess part of this is Portugal here, uh, so we'll just say Hispania. Uh, so this would bring all the tribes into it, and we could do it in literally one one war. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. But of course, we do not have a claim over here. So we're going to go ahead and get one. Now, I also checked this tribe here, and there's no claim here either, so that wouldn't have been an option. just wanted to clarify that. All right, so I think that's good. We're just going to wait for this now. We're also integrating this tribe here and it looks like this has become a city excellent so that'll give us another location to to build in also we got a marshal advances uh, so let's just take a look and see where that is it's right here so it's a it's a bummer i spent all the money because uh, we're probably going to want to uh, go ahead and build here that'd help a lot so we're going to have to wait until we get a little bit of money and then we'll build there uh, but for now let's go ahead and get ourselves a new invention uh, so we have the marshal advances and I think the last one to get here is, yeah, the Legion, uh, Legion Maintenance Cost. Yeah, and then after that, we start working on something else. Okay, so we're going to grab that. Save us a bit of money. Uh, I think we're paying a good chunk of money for Legions right now. Yeah, 65. Uh, so that'll save quite a bit of money. Now, we're earning a lot of money right now. Uh, one of the governors died. Okay, so we'll have to get him replaced. And that's over here as well, so nah, that's a bummer. That's going to end up changing all of the uh, the policies over here. Uh, that's a real shame. Because, yeah, they'll only set it to the harsh treatment if the province is already disloyal. So let's figure out who we want to put here. we got an incapable scholar here. He's got level sec uh, 6 finesse. He's got a decent marshal. However, we do have an unhappy family. Uh, but this is... 
an area where we want to make sure, at the very least, that we have somebody with low corruption. And, and this guy is from the, the unhappy family, so he would work. And as we convert people, he'd be getting a little bit of a, a happiness bonus there. As long as he's not negatively impacting the happiness, I'm okay with it. Yeah, he's not. So yeah, we'll put him in place here. All right, uh, but yeah, the, the main issue here is the lack of cities, which, you know, the, the lack of political influence makes it so there's really not too many options uh, in that regard. We do have more barbarians. Oh, this is the first time we've had barbarians over here. Okay, yeah, we haven't had any issues with barbarians up there until now. Okay, I, I'm really surprised with that, honestly. I was expecting barbarians to be much more of an issue up here than they actually have been. Alright, so we'll go over there and attack them. Uh, also, we can colonize over here. Excellent. Slowly getting this done, guys. There's only uh, three provinces left over here. And then we'll be done with the, uh, the colonization effort there. And we can call another omen. We'll be doing the National Commerce Income. It's a bummer we don't have a bonus for, like, unintegrated uh, culture happiness. I could really use that right now. Since money's becoming less and less of an issue, as it always does in a late game. I was going to say a late game... Uh, campaign in this game, but that's the case of pretty much any Paradox game. Uh, money no longer becomes an issue. Yeah, we'll trade with these ones. That little tiny tribe right there. I don't know that we'll be conquering them anytime soon. And we'll also trade with these guys. Lots of trade offers coming in right now. And also seems like we lost some of our capital territory. Oh yeah, we just lost a ton of uh, our, our capital trade routes, I meant. Yeah, we lost two in the capital. A bunch of uh, trade routes overall, though. I'm not entirely sure what we lost, so we'll have to wait until it flips over here. And seems that the wine is again a damn issue, man. And that has nothing to do with the trade situation here. I'm, I'm tired of it. It, it. The wine, man. It's always the wine. Always having issues with the wine, man. Alright, so we want to, to go to the capital area and cancel that. All right, so that'll solve the issue with wine, but we still have uh, two more trade goods uh, that we are no longer trading for. I'm not sure what those were. Maybe base metals, because we're lacking that. But I wasn't entirely sure if we had the the bonus for the base metals. I'm not seeing anything else. Obviously, we don't have the incense or the silk available to trade for. And yeah, it seems everything else is good here. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's just the base metals, and it must have been like food or something we were trading for. All right, so let's go ahead and trade. Get that light infantry offense bonus. All right, guys, so since we don't need food, uh, we have all the, the capital bonuses that I want and that, that are available to us. And so really the only options are either one, to trade for something that gives you like a local bonus, like local tax bonus or local population output. Uh, so that would be an option. But I, I think the best way to do it would be to instead trade for something that gives you the most money. Uh, now, the uh, most expensive trade good is, is pressure metal, precious metals, but... We do not have any foreign routes, so that's not going to generate very much. So we instead have to go with one of these point forty-five. We have the splices available. Uh, we have, and I guess you could also kind of base it off of which one's going to get you uh, uh, the best, like local bonus. Yeah, I guess we'll go with the spices here. Yeah, I think that's uh, as good as it gets. No amber available to uh, uh, to trade for. That's also point five. Uh, so yeah, it would be papyrus or dyes or, or spices. So I think we're going to go with the uh, the spices, guys. Uh, so we will trade with... Well, do we want to trade with Egypt or the Seleucids? I guess we'll do Egypt. Okay. Yeah, but we're doing fantastic on money now. It's, it's almost a non-issue uh, by this point. And where are those barbarians? Did they take off? Uh, it looks like the barbarians take, took off. All right, well, with that in mind, let's just have these guys sitting somewhere here just in case we have to go back. Uh, but let's... Don't want to have any supply issues, so might just sit right there. Yeah, that seems good. So if we go back over, if we have to go up up there, it'll be a little bit closer this time. Because uh, yeah, it looks like the barbarians took off or went into somebody else's territory. Uh, we have a feast, gain some happiness bonus. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take that. That character is going to get some bonuses from that, though. And we can colonize here. Excellent. So only two more provinces left to go, guys. So our efforts there to move pops around seem to have been effective now. Oh, and also, we can now build in this city. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We can get five buildings constructed. Uh, obviously, temple and theater are the uh, primary ones we want to get first. Uh, we can get an academy. We have no nobles here. 
and maybe another court of law, or I said another like we have one, uh, which we don't, obviously. Uh, let's also go, you know, we're going to go with another court of law here, guys. Yeah, because the academy does not boost the uh, provincial loyalty while the court of law does. All right, so yeah, we'll do that. That looks looks good. I spent majority of our funds as well. I don't really see any reason to continue trading with them because they'll be annexed soon. I say soon, but we're we're not even a quarter of the way there yet. I mean, we, never mind. <laughs> this is uh, I, I read this wrong. We are just started this process. Uh, so we got a long ways to go here, guys. It'll be done in 679s. So we're looking at 12 years to get that completed. Okay, well, I guess they won't be annexed anytime soon. That's going to take a while. Uh, so we got an event about one of our locations prospering and allows us to get a marketplace, which marketplaces aren't that helpful. Uh, we can just send to get some money, in which case he will lose loyalty. We could do hold some local games with the funds, gaining popularity, and provincial loyalty and local happiness. Where is this, anyway? Okay, that's over here. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have read that. And we don't have any happiness issues in Greece, so we don't really need to, to get that. Uh, no loyalty issues or whatever. So yeah, we'll just go with a, a building there, since we're, we're not constructing in Greece, because we're concentrating on other areas. Uh, let's see who we want to trade with here. We'll prefer some smaller tribes. And these guys. All right, yeah, good chunk of money, man. That's not bad at all. Uh, did we use, yeah, we used all our building slots there. Uh, also, we need to get a new Pontifex Maximus. So let's go ahead and find somebody from, maybe from, yeah, probably from that unhappy family, which he's actually the top guy anyway, so it works out nicely. Uh, he doesn't have very good statesmanship, though, so we have to build that up. So just waiting on getting this done here, we're at 89%, so we will be able to declare war this episode, and, and I don't know if we'll be able to continue the war, uh, or excuse me, finish the war, uh, but if we did finish the war this episode, then that means we would be done in Hispania, essentially. Uh, you know, of course, we do have to annex them still, but... Uh, so there's an election coming up. All right, I'm gonna just take a peek at, at who's leading that election. Uh, there's nothing we can do at this point, uh, but we are gonna lose this guy, but he has lost some of his stats. He's not quite as good as he was. Uh, when he came into power, and he's only 53 years old as well. Uh, this is a 39-year-old character. He's really young. He's currently our auger, and he's worse. Yeah, definitely a bit worse overall. His uh, co-consul is much better. It's a bummer there's not much we can do here to get rid of him at this point. Try smearing his re reputation, but I think it's uh it's too late. Uh, I don't think that would boost it. I mean, we could take a look and see how close the co-consul is. He's pretty close. It might be enough. It could very well be enough, guys, uh, to put this guy in power instead. Which he's garbage marshal wise, but he's better on all the other stats. Well, his zeal is one one lower. But overall, between the other two stats, he has a, a plus four, so I think it could probably make well. You know what? You're actually, they're exactly the same if you just look at total stats. All right, so there's really no reason to do that then. Yeah, there's really no reason to do it. Okay, we'll just let the, the guy come into power. Uh, we will trade with those guys. Yeah, we'll have a new console soon. Uh, looks like the co console just died. Uh, did that result in. Yeah, that did change this here. All right, so now the co-consul is even worse uh, since this guy now has become the co-consul. All right, well, that doesn't give us much uh, benefit here, does it? All right, that's kind of a shame those two would have worked out uh, well together. Yeah, that's a real bummer that that happened. Oh, yeah, we do have to get him replaced, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Is it an unhappy family? It is not. Uh, we can put anybody in place here, but, yeah, I think we'll, we'll put a family member. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. And he doesn't have to be fantastic, but we'll put this level 4 guy in here. And we'll trade with them. I don't think we have any trade rounds with that little tribe yet. And since they asked so nicely, we'll give them some more of our famous honeyed wine. And there we go. We got a new console. So let's just take a look at the console, because I didn't look at his, his actual traits here. Uh, he's ambitious. He's good-natured. Okay, so that'll increase his max friends. Uh, arbitrary. Alright, so that's not good, because that's going to decrease the monthly stability he's also depressed all right so that's a shame but if he loses that then he'll actually get more finesse and charisma uh, so that'll 
increase those. Uh, so hopefully he does lose them. Uh, well, let me just uh, take a look real quick. See if there's anything we want to do here. Uh, we should probably go ahead and scheme, do the, the influence scheme. Let me see how we're looking here. Oh, that's still really bad there. I don't know if that guy finished his uh, his scheme to, to sponsor games, but we're going to do it again because it is uh, not a good situation over there. It just continues to decrease. I'm trying to not have to release them or to have to fight a rebellion, but we might have to. Uh, I want to say it's this one here. We can zoom in real quick to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. All right, so that is right here. So sponsor games there. And uh, that means that we're not doing the, the influence scheme. You can only do one at a time. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we'll try and do that one. We do have to replace the, the console and the co-console. For this position, I guess it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just put this guy in place since He's the best, and he's from an unhappy family. Uh, over here, I guess we could do... I would just do this guy here. All right, so so is this uh, about our character getting this trait, or is this... Yeah, this is our character. Uh, so we can say turn the other cheek, in which case we'll get the Ys, and that increases national citizen output, as well as increasing our own finesse. It's a pretty good one to have. Or we instead we could say this one here, which would make us rash, and, and there's no real benefit to that. So yeah, we'll go with this one, even if it does result in this character here getting uh, a bit of prominence and popularity. He's not a bad character. He's he's not great either. He's pretty average, I suppose. Uh, will decrease his loyalty as well. He's a tribune. Yeah, we'll go with this one, guys. Turn the other cheek, and, and that'll just overall make our uh, our console better. Yeah, got that finesse up a little bit higher. That's still pretty darn low. And we now have the claim. All right, so we can declare war. Let's just go through these real quick. And uh, we'll declare war on these guys. Aggressive expansion could be much lower, uh, obviously, but uh, it'll burn off while we're at war here. It's going to take us a little while to get these guys defeated. Uh, I should have moved our other army. Oh, they're not that far away. Uh, we also might want to raise up our levies for this one, as I mentioned last episode. So let's just take a peek at the current levies here. We're going to want to go to the, uh, let's see here, the, the region map mode. And then we'll see uh, which one has the largest uh, overall levies. And that's how we'll base this off of uh, where we uh, end up recruiting these from. All right, so over here, we have 23. That's probably going to be the most that we're going to get. Yeah, you're only getting four from there. Yeah, I think that's probably the highest. I'll kind of like dip through the here real quick and see if there's any better, but I don't see how there could be considering the fact that this was the region we conquered first. Yeah, I think that this is probably going to be the, the best uh, area to, to recruit from. There we go. So that'll give us uh, just a few levies to, to make use of and kind of help us get this war done a little bit quicker. Let's see where we want to send these guys. So, of course, the, the war goal is right there, so we do want to get over to there. Uh, this one here can be seized quite easily. Uh, over here, where is the... Okay, so that's that right there. All right, so I think we might just go ahead and send the legions in first. going to take these guys a bit of time. So, you know what? Let's just have them go grab that one real quick. Uh, and then over here, let me see where our better commander is. That's the level 14. Okay, so that's the one we'll want to use for, for battles. Well, this guy here is just going to be used for, for sieges. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and start working on that uh, location there. I'm assuming that all of them did honor the call to war, the call to arms. Yeah, they all did. So we're at war with all these tribes. Uh, let's go ahead and start pushing up this way. Is that really the best way to go? Go through their territory? Apparently it is. I don't think there's any forts along the coast. Uh, so we probably won't pay for our fleet. I don't really see any uh, benefit to doing so. And no longer importing veggies. Okay. We're going to trade with neither of those. And let's go ahead and turn this down a bit. So we're going to want to avoid too much battle with these guys because they're really not the best for that. And we'll just have to see where all their, their armies end up going. And then we're going to fight them with this, this army here. 
I don't want them moving around, attacking everywhere. Let's so let's do a few battles. We now have the the levies to help out with the sieges, so we don't have to use both the legions for sieges now. Uh, we can use one of them for sieges while the uh, the levies help out with that. I know we're attacking across the strait there, but it's only two thousand men, guys, so it's not a, a concern. Uh, wiped out twenty five hundred there already. Excellent. Uh, so now let's go ahead and have these guys. Let's figure out where where they want to attack next. A couple thousand up there. Could go ahead and grab this capital location real quick, since there's not much else for us to do just yet. Still waiting to see where all their armies pop up. Should have this one taken soon. There you go, beautiful. So this will flip these two over here. And then I think these guys are going to go over here and grab this province here. Although we do not want to have to fight all them, so... Yeah, it looks like that might be where they're getting rounded up, so we'll need to pay attention to that. Uh, and have maybe have this legion go over there and help them out. Do a little bit of battle. And I'm hoping we can get a lot of aggressive expansion burned off during this conflict. Uh, also, let me see how much we need here. Alright, we need quite a bit. I want to keep its stability going up. I think that'll really help in many of those disloyal provinces that we have. Alright, so let's go move the, the army over here. And... Trying to see how large that army is. Okay, so that's 14,000 total men up there. Uh, we got an event about the tools of the establishment. So is this about the co-consul? Yeah, this is a co-consul here. So we'll want to do the uh, the compromise. All right, so both these guys marching over this way. They are going to easily wipe out our 2,000 uh, allied troops there. We did finish up the siege. That's excellent. All right, so with that in mind... We don't need to send these guys over here, as I was expecting to have to. Can we not go... Oh, this is all one province. This is one huge, huge province. Okay, so those guys are going that way. Let me go here. Try and uh, engage a few of these anyway. Yeah, to keep on getting that political influence with all the penalties that come with it. So we'll do a little battle here. Wipe out those thousand real quick. And then... I'm going to try and get those guys there engaged, but it doesn't look like we're going to catch them in time. No. I'm not going to catch those guys either. And where is our levies? They're down here. Okay, so we're still good to go. They did seize this province here, but apparently we don't have a fort there. I didn't realize that. We might want to get a fort in this province then. Any provinces that don't have forts, we definitely want to, to put a fort there. Uh, so yeah, I should have built one here. But yeah, I didn't realize that they didn't have one. So that's a shame. It would have been useful to have that done before the uh, before we started this conflict. Uh, so these guys here, let's go and just have them do another siege. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take. Let's see where we want to go. If we take these guys over, then we can knock them out of the conflict, and I, I think we'll probably want to to knock them out one by one, just to get rid of all these small armies that are gonna be everywhere. Uh, these guys are attacking across here. I guess we will let them attack there. And. Yeah, let's get some... Although this character will lose... Yeah, he's going to lose a ton of loyalty, so that's unfortunate. Because we're taking all those holdings from him. But yeah, getting the, the Popularis uh, party happy with us, which I don't think they've been happy with us for some time. I mean, it's a little bit low, but yeah, it's not too shabby. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this, guys. Get boost that a little bit. All right, so we'll be battling those guys there. Uh, of course, we had the river penalty, but we vastly outnumbered them, so it wasn't much of an issue. Uh, so let's figure out what we want to do next with them, because I'm not seeing the large army that was here before. I guess we'll go ahead and just seize control of these here. And what do these guys want? They're wanting some furs. I suppose we will continue to trade with them since it's going to be a, a long time uh, before we have them annexed, a lot longer than I was expecting. So yeah, once we take that fort there, we'll be able to uh, get these guys annexed. And yeah, we'll just annex them one at a time, I suppose. And you know what? Let's have this guy go over here. He can take that real quick for us. It's a nice little 30 days. And then these guys here are going to try and get the, the 5,000 men there engaged. And so these guys, of course, won't be getting nothing from us. Because they are a future enemy. I'll likely be fighting them pretty soon, actually. Alright, so let's go over here. And let's see. Oh, this is a revolt, so we don't wanna we don't wanna trade with them. Alright, so let's have these guys come over to here now. And 
Okay, so they are about to, to seize that again, so we'll have to come back here afterwards. That's okay, we'll take the fort first, I'm not too worried about it. And... Yeah, I guess we'll trade with these guys. And the constant trade offers that you have to manage. A very fun mechanic. So we don't want them to fight anybody. Unless we have help with the Legion, uh, from the Legion. Which, I don't think they should be getting engaged, but we'll see. Uh, we will engage these guys across the river, it's fine. I know it's we're going to have both the, the river penalty and the train penalty, but I'm not too worried about it at all. Uh, these guys did attack us here with a large force, and they didn't do so well. That didn't go well for them at all. But yeah, this legion here is just so good that we can just roll over anybody, essentially. See so if we can't attack them there. I'd like to follow this little army here. I don't know where they're going, but you know, if we could get them wiped out, that'd be helpful. A lot of little armies running around everywhere, as well as some, some larger armies, too. All right, so now let's go after here, and then we'll have these guys ready to be annexed. I'm going to get them knocked out of the conflict. Not seeing their troops anywhere, though. Yeah, I don't see their troops anywhere. So I don't know how helpful that's going to be overall, but... All right, so we have taken here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and now go after this location. Still trying to get troops here engaged. Let's keep on marching that away. And looks like this character here is going to lose some popularity. And most importantly, we lose some stability. All right, that's a shame. I'm trying to get that up, but we've been having some, some difficulty with that. Uh, so we might want to, to use our political influence for it. Because uh, stability is like a real issue right now, guys. We need to get that higher uh, because of our, our some of our locations just have like incredibly low uh, happiness, and there's not much we can do about it because we don't have cities there. That's just part of the problems when you uh, start conquering these tribal regions here. Yeah, there are some some decent sized armies floating around. If they all joined up, they could cause us some problems, but they they probably won't. You get a ton of money, and the bony would be happy, but we've got a ton of money, so let's go with the stability. That makes far more sense. And speaking of the money, we should probably get to, to spending that. Uh, so let's just kind of dip around, see if there's anything to, to build in these cities. Probably not. I think we got it all taken care of already. Yeah, nothing really to be done here in Spain. I guess you could build in this one, though happiness is no longer as much of an issue, but that is because they're doing the harsh treatment. Uh, so yeah, let's go with the... I mean, yeah, happiness overall is not a huge problem. Oh, that's only cre increasing the eventual loyalty. So really, it's, this city is not the issue. It's it's the rural areas that we're having uh, having problems. Of course, it would be. Uh, let's go with the the court of law. Okay, so I think we're gonna build here. Though I will take a peek at at this Africa region where I was building. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and also get the uh, the great temple and the the theater here. And that's right, we're also building in Sicily. We're trying to get these guys converted. Because overall, we have not converted uh, as many in Sicily as you would have expected. Uh, let's go ahead and do the temple here. And then over here, which one's the largest one? This one is. Let's go and get the temple there as well, because uh, well, I guess they're all Hellenic there. I think that's why we didn't build the temple there. Yeah, most likely. Uh, so instead, let's, let's focus on getting uh, theaters throughout here first. Now, some of these other ones are not as Hellenic, so I suppose you could justify getting a temple there. And then just continue building all throughout Italy, trying to get them converted as much as possible. Look at this, 99% Roman here. Yeah, a lot of these areas don't really need any assistance with the uh, assimilating and converting and stuff. They're pretty Hellenic. Not as Hellenic as, as they are Roman, but... Both of those are pretty good. It's not really an issue here, guys. So maybe down here in the south is, is the bigger problem? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so let's go with another Grand Theater. Just trying to get these guys all converted. Because uh, I think that's the problem, is that we're just not uh, assimilating fast enough. All right, let me see what we've got going. So those guys are taking this over here. Could have built more, uh, but we'll do it a bit later. Uh, so this should flip all this well that's not going to flip that over to us but i don't think that's an issue yeah, i think we should be good we should be able to annex them now this is going to make peace just with these guys here oh oh yeah we got to wait until the the time limit don't we so 670. all right well we've got them conquered that's what's important uh let's go ahead and go after this small tribe 
really easy to get them knocked out. And then I suppose we'd want to go throughout here. All right, so these guys are taking this for us. Let's go ahead and have these guys move over to here. We're trying to get them engaged, so maybe going down this way would be the, the better route. I like to fight those 7,500. Yeah, we should be able to fight them right there. This will be on the plains. Should be an easy battle for us. In fact, we wiped out 700, 7,500 and only lost like a few hundred of our own troops. Not bad at all, guys. Yeah, that's really good. All right, so could have these guys go here. Um, I want them to, to knock out a siege, but maybe not fight those guys. Yeah, I don't really want them to fight them. I wonder if they'll leave. They'll try and leave, but they're not going to make it. All right, so we'll have to use these ones instead. Oh, that was a mercenary army that we just defeated there. All right, so that'll avoid them. And so we'll go ahead and take that location. Uh, we'll go with the, the happiness here, though. That would put us in the negative, wouldn't it? Where's this at? Ugh. Yeah, I don't think it's it's worth it over here, guys. We'll just have to take the, the happiness penalty. I don't want to go in the negative, because who knows what that'll result in. Uh, there are 3,500 over here that got behind us. All right. Um, do we want to raise levies up to take those out? Probably not. I don't think it's big enough of an issue. Uh, they can't take the, the province over, right? Oh, they can take it over. There's no fort here either. Damn, I did not go through and build forts like I should have. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, these guys should be taking this over, shouldn't they? I have them do that now. Looks like somebody else took that again. So yeah, they'll do the the siege there, and then with these guys, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it marching down there, not chasing them. So instead, let's see what we can do here. We can't get past the fort there to attack those ones. Hmm. But this is a lot of troops here that could defeat the the eleven thousand five hundred there. So that is an issue. And so we can go here and not get uh, any attrition. We'll go right here and see what these guys are doing. I assume they're going to attack, but maybe not. Uh, with this here, this will get us a little bit of stability, so that's helpful. Right, excellent. Also, let's go ahead and, and boost this stability, guys. Again, just trying to get that as high as possible because it would be really, it'd really helpful for us, considering our issues with the, uh, the loyalty. Can we not move here? Yeah, we can't move here either. All right, so that's a shame. So these guys can just... You know, trance around in front of us, tramp around in front of us, and and not uh, worry about us being able to attack them. Uh, so we have two families that are currently happy that we can pull from here if we need to. Or we could just put them into this place here if they have anybody, which the best character is actually here. But do we want to put Sexus Decius Pansa right there, considering his uh, better stats? I'm not sure who all we have here, but it was it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So this would clearly be the best choice, and he's from family. So yeah, we'll get him replaced. Uh, over here, you're not going to get better than that. But we'll, we'll go ahead and peek, peek uh, at all the options here while we're over here. Let's get a level 10 guy there. He's from the same family too, so that works out nicely. And yeah, we're not going to be able to replace that guy. Means we can appoint anybody for this position. And I think we're just going to do a family member. Whoever the best character is, what is this guy? All right, so I guess we'll have to go this way. Just trying to get these guys caught so we can battle them. Yeah, try and fight them. At least they're they're moving away from that army, which is what I want. Uh, so yeah, we might go ahead and fight the 12,000 here. This is going to be in the force, so we'll get the penalty there. Uh, they did seize that province from us. Okay, that's not surprising. And we seize this province from them. All right, awesome. So uh, let's see where we want to go next. I suppose we'll go after... This fort here, uh, you know what, we should probably take that one first and then go after the fort. Or even take that one there. When can we uh, sue for peace with everybody? 670, so very soon. All right, so a relatively big battle for this war here. And uh, we lost 617, they lost 1915. It's not bad, guys. Yeah, they might come over here and attack the 11,500 here. Maybe not, they don't know what to do. I don't know if me bringing this army over there had any impact on their decision. To not attack okay so they do really want to attack there and we are not um guaranteed a win here yeah they're gonna send a lot of troops there so we need to get these guys over there to assist yeah it looks like we would just barely win against the first army but with the help i don't know how that would have went they might have defeated us with those additional armies uh but now that we sent that guy in there uh this also resulted in the conquer trade coming over to this really good character all right excellent so that's going to get him uh, some bonuses there and 
overall gonna increase his assault ability. That's the main thing that helps him as a as a general. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out. They lost uh, a good chunk of men. Uh, they have 6,200 left, but yeah, they're the ones who took the majority of the casualties. Unfortunately, that's what I was worried with. I, I don't know that we would have won that, guys, without uh, bringing this army over here. We want to get the siege finished up here as well, uh, but we're not going to assault. Let's just go ahead and leave. Maybe we just steer, uh, stay nearby. Yeah, it kind of sucks you can't go any of these ones. Yeah, just kind of stay nearby until they finish this up. Oh, these guys are done. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them. They got to take this uh, fort here for this all to flip over to us. I suppose we could easily take this one real quick. Yeah, we'll grab that one and then we'll come over here. I think that's the best way of going about that. All right, so hopefully we should be able to get this done soon. It's not as high as it was when we had the uh, the legion there. All right, so with these guys, let's go and have them go over here. They'll come and grab that for us. Just slowly getting it done. And there was a fort there. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, we did have a fort there, and they took it. We are paying for the forts, right? Yeah, we're paying for the forts. Okay, so yeah, they're having a little bit of success there, that 3,000 men. But I don't have anything to attack them with. Oh, well, these are pretty cruddy, so we could probably just raise a, a levies up. I didn't realize that they were probably levies themselves. We can get 2,000 there, and then like 2,000 here, and that gives you enough troops to, to take them out. We'll put them here and then have them attack together. And hopefully they'll win. I don't know if they will or not. We'll have to see. Yeah, it looks like they, they would have won so that they're scared. Trying to get a little bit of assistance here. Oh, these guys are done, so let's go ahead have, and have them attack that fortification next. Only a few forts left to take. I'm, I'm counting three, three forts remaining. And they're doing that. Well, they're going to take this here. If they attack us, we'll help. A lot of troops floating around here, guys. Quite a few. Uh, so they're on the, the march out of here. Let's go ahead and have 2,000 go over here where the other 2,000 start the siege up. Once they uh, take some casualties there from the attrition, they probably won't be able to continue the siege. So we'll have to wait until we get the other 2,000 over there to assist them. Yeah, a lot of troops floating around here, guys, and not sure where they're going or what their plan is here. Let's go ahead and have... Okay, so these guys would have to go around this way. Yeah, I can't really... Hmm. I don't want to get too far away from them, because with all these troops, they, they could defeat them. Let's just go here for now. Let's see what they do. They could come over here and attack these guys as well. That'd be a possibility. At least we put those guys on the on the move. Alright, so a lot of troops. There are a lot of troops in this war. Uh, you know, these tribes all put together, they, they do have uh, some numbers. If they work together, they could defeat one of our legions, I think. If they, they threw the entire army at one of the legions, they could probably win. But they won't. They won't do that. Alright, so we'd have to go through here, through here. Okay, so I suppose that works. As long as we can go back to the uh, the fort and, and assist those guys if they get attacked. And yeah, we'll trade with them. Okay, so we've seen this event before. Man, that's, that's a lot of money to be lost, but I want the stability route, honestly. Yeah, I kind of want the stability route. It puts you in the negative, though, doesn't it? Yeah, we wouldn't get out of it anytime soon either. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that we would definitely get hit with the uh, the penalty there. Uh, we'd have uh, whatever ended up happening, and sometimes that can be pretty bad, so I don't like going to the negative if you can avoid it. So we have to go with this one, unfortunately. Who's got that much money just sitting around? I mean, like, at this point, to be able to do these events, because we make so much money, we'd have to have, like, 1,500, 2,000 gold just sitting in our treasury at all times just for the events. Which is always an option, but that's a lot of money to just be sitting around not doing anything with. Uh, we can't attack those guys there. We can't even move here. So very, very limited if I want to stay here and support those guys. Uh, looks like there's a 9,000 army over there. We still have to attack that fort there, so I, I counted the forts wrong. There's actually four forts. And we're, we're currently running on that siege as well. So yeah, not. I guess we'll chase these guys down because I don't want them coming over here and destroying these guys here. But they could attack them there as well. Yeah, overall it feels like we don't have enough uh, troops just yet for for what I'm trying to do here. 
Could raise up the last levy, but I don't think that would assist much. We can take a peek and see how much they give us. Yeah, that's 2,000. So what we can do at the very least is have them uh, support these guys here. We're gonna be engaging that 9,000 there, excellent. And we did finish this siege, all right, excellent. I, I was worried about that, that they, they would get attacked or something while we were uh, distracted. All right, so we're gonna have these guys grab this province real quick. Uh, finished up that battle, killed another couple thousand men there. Not too shabby. And and this 6,000 will keep them from being able to bring an army down here that could easily uh, attack us. But yeah, these 3,000 here have been causing us all kinds of difficulty. This is that blue tribe. Okay. So we'll take that from for us. And I could have these guys chase them down, but I don't really feel like that's the, the best way to go here. Instead, have these guys... Yeah, they'll just have to finish that up. All right, so let's go over this way. We almost have this siege done here, so that'll free them up to siege somewhere else. Trade with those guys, I suppose. And we do have a governor problem, so we need to get somebody appointed here. This guy would not only be the best character, but he's also from family. He's merciful. He's a good choice. Yeah, I guess we'll put him in place. A few other options available as well, but these are all minor characters, so yeah, we'll go with him. All right. So once they finish that up, we're going to have them come down here. They did retake that, but that was really easy. There was no uh, no fort there. Going to grab this province next. Trade with these guys here. And we'll see what those those th couple thousand men there do. Oh, these guys aren't doing anything, huh? Uh, did they take that one? They did. All right, so they took in that province. Uh, we still have another fort to siege here. I think we're going to chase down this army here, see if we can't catch them, uh, stop them from doing whatever they're trying to do. Take easily, uh, uh, you know, the unfortified capitals. That's what it looks like they're working on. All right, so finally finished that up. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and work on one of these last fortifications here. Uh, so it would be this one here. And after that, I think there's just this one and this one, yeah. So we'll have two armies doing the last two fortifications. And then we'll be done. So that's good news. I'll just have these guys continue chasing. Okay, oh, so they keep on taking these forge, uh, forts down here. They're not paying attention to. Look at this. We got like multiple armies down here. I was wondering where all their armies were, because a lot of these were mercenaries. These might be mercenaries as well. Yeah, one of them is. All right, so yeah, we got a lot of uh, dudes that chase around. We'll try and fight these guys first. Just because they're larger, these two sieges are either already done or uh, have a, lo a long time to progress. So I'm going to try and chase them down if I can. I don't want them attacking any of these, these forts that we worked so hard to get. Alright, so can we attack them from here? We can, but we won't catch them. So we'll go this way instead. So I'm just waiting on these two uh, sieges here, guys. And I guess that one as well. Although that's not important. And once we take these two, we'll be uh, done with the conflict. And we got these guys where they're not. Uh, uh, we can't deselect them. So yeah, we'll attack across here. We'll get both the uh, the forest penalty and the river penalty. But I feel very confident that we'll do you know, very high casualties too. We finished up one of the sieges. That was this one down here. Okay, we're going to grab this one next with this uh, 6,000 man army here. Uh, I'm not going to send them over there. I don't think that's the best uh, use of these. And let's go with the stability. Spend the money. Yeah. We'll go with that one. Yeah, anything to really try and get this, this stability up here. All right, so that battle's almost done. And, you know, because of the fact that we fought in the rivers and with, uh, we fought across the river in the, the forest, we didn't do as good of kill-death ratio as normal, but still pretty darn good. All right, so now we got these guys flopping around here. Let's go chase them down. And we did finish this siege. All right, excellent. So now we have an, a decent sized army that can kind of help us out. We're gonna attack these guys here. And we do have an extra uh, route here. I don't know if we lost one or if we just earned that. So I'm gonna wait until uh, June before we do anything with that. But yeah, now we have two armies that can go and take territory. We still have some provinces to take before we do this, this peace treaty. And these guys don't want to go here now, so we'll go over here. I'm not sure which way they're going. Maybe we're to that province? Yeah, they're going over that province now. 
All right, so we'll be engaging those guys there. And still waiting on this siege here to finish up. And they finished up their siege as well. Now those are all kind of irrelevant unless points become an issue. You know, all the territories that are taken from us. All right, so very good kill-death ratio in that battle. And try and chase these guys down here. Still have to do this battle here. Uh, looks like we didn't engage any. Okay, so we killed 10,000 there. Wow, yeah, that's a good number right there. And the battle's still raging. Killed the 220 there. All right, so we need to take this province here and then go over to that one, and then we'll be done with the war. Unless they flip over something else to us, uh, or over to them. Uh, so let's see if we can't try and get these guys caught. Doesn't look like we're going to catch them. All right, so you got a lot of troops down here. Uh, this is flipped. Let's go and grab the last one, and then we'll be done. Oh, well, we're still waiting on that siege, I suppose. Uh, this is done as well. Let's go and go over to this one now. And then have these guys come over here. They'd be smart if they kept them all together here, because they would outnumber us. And let's go ahead and dip over to... Getting the stability up, so that's going well. Uh, let's dip on over here and see what we want to do with this, this last trade route here. Not really seeing anything here. Uh, so yeah, I think this is just an extra trade route. So in that case, we'd probably just want to to again go you know the same thing something that earns us a good chunk of money like some spices or whatever uh is there anything else that we might want to trade for instead we could do the dyes then we could trade with thrace to kind of spread out who we're trading with so not just trading with you know just the egyptians and the seleucids in case we end up war with them want to spread out our, our overall trade routes so just waiting on those two right there guys and then we can make peace and we'll just take it all at the same time, I suppose. Alright, so there's the 9,000. Where the hell did the 8,000 go? I don't actually know. That could be anywhere. Yeah, I don't know where that 8,000 man army. Maybe they're down here somewhere. Maybe in some territory we can't see. Uh, these guys are done. Let's go ahead and... I guess we'll attack those guys there. Let's hope they don't. They did. Yeah, they're taking these little easy locations here. So it's a problem while we try and get these sieges done. Just too many little armies floating around all over the damn place. And then also not paying attention so that we can get these guys here attacked. It's causing us some issues. Alright, so looks like we defeated whatever army was there. We are going to be battling these guys here. Not sure how well that's going to go. Uh, we did take that there, but we still have to take this province here, so... Looks like we won that. All right, excellent. Uh, we'll be battling these 9,000 here now. War score is in a good uh, place. Do we have everything? No, we got one more province left to take over here. Also, these guys, I suppose, can can go somewhere. See where we want to, to move them. Uh, I think this is pretty much irrelevant. We're just waiting for this. So, you know what? We're done. Let's go ahead and make peace. They uh, made it a little bit more difficult than I was expecting it to be. I'm hoping we can get everything, but it doesn't doesn't look like it, guys. We might have to make some separate pieces to be able to get this done. Okay, I'm going to try. And... Ah, damn it. We're going to be able to get it all anyway. So we're going to have to do a separate piece. Oh, and they retook that. <laughs> all right. They're making this a hassle, basically. So let's do the separate pieces to get these guys out. And that's not who we declared war on, right? Now we declared war on the green tribe. Okay, so we're going to get them knocked out. We'll take a peek at these these characters, but most likely we're going to be working on trying to get rid of the aggressive expansion. All right, excellent. So we've got them knocked out. We'll see who else we can knock out. Um, these guys, we have more territory we have to take. How about them? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to take that still. Uh, there's this little tribe here. Let's go and annex them and doubt they're gonna have anybody really good but maybe I'll be surprised here a, yeah they actually have some decent characters here all right so you know what? let's um pass judgment on the important families see which ones we want to keep here I want to say that some of them were in that family I know they're in that family there you know I think we're just gonna end up keeping all these I know we lost, uh, you know, obviously there's, it's not free. There are some penalties there. So we need to take that province there. 
and this province here. So that's the two things that are currently limiting us. All right, so let's go after this one here. We have to keep somebody around here to stop these guys. So we're going to chase them down. It's not very large armies. And then these guys here will have to go after... Let's see how we wanted to go about doing this. Let's have them go after this province here. Well, these guys will do the fighting. Just slowly move down there. But yeah, this will be priority, trying to get that province so we can knock them out of the conflict. Uh, we're sitting at 17 aggressive expansions so far, but we haven't taken out the largest tribe yet. It's going to be the most points. Alright, so with these guys here, uh, let's go over this way. I'm trying to get these 3,000-something uh, men engaged here if we can. Yeah, and still got these armies here causing us issues. And we're trading enough with them. They need to become a part of the Empire if they want any more benefits. We'll trade with these guys, though. All right, so we flipped that. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get these guys engaged. Somebody. So we'll be chasing them down, looks like. Uh, try and chase these guys down here. It's kind of irrelevant. I, I suppose we could just go ahead and end it with them, in fact. Yeah, I guess that makes the most sense. Because, uh, yeah, these guys are not the tribe we declared war on. So we can go ahead and make a separate peace with them. And they're also going to be the most expensive, both for aggressive expansion and for war score. Yeah, 29 aggressive expansion. That's not, that's not great. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to eat that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? We have so much aggressive expansion... And it doesn't look like they have very great characters. Anyway, uh, we're going to try and burn some of that off. We're at 44 now, so that's that's unfortunate. It's gotten quite high. Uh, but this should be a lot easier to do now that we've taken out the largest tribe here. Uh, we could go in and make peace with them. All right, so made peace with them. And now it's just this tribe here, which it's a matter of just taking that one province and then it's over. Uh, we can get ourselves a tradition, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're going to go after... Ooh, we're all zoomed out. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think we just finished this one. Yeah, we finished that one. Uh, the Roman traditions are done as well. Uh, so with the Greek kingdoms, I think we're going to finally go after this one here, guys, so we can get the uh, heavy cab bonuses. So get that one. Obviously, they don't use a lot of light calves, so probably not all that beneficial for that one, but yeah. Eventually, we better get the good ones. I don't think there's anything to do with these troops. Yeah, the, the key here is just taking that one province. I'm not too worried about it. The troops down here, it looks like uh, just the 7,000 is all that's remaining there. Some small, tiny armies, but nothing to be too concerned about, guys. It's just really a matter of taking that one province there. And then it's over. I can chase these guys down if we can catch them. Alright, so yeah, it's 30 days away, guys. And then we'll have control of everything we need to be able to, to end the conflict. And there we go. Let's see if there's anything else we need to do around here. I almost want to go ahead and let the uh, battles here finish up just because it's all helping us out. Uh, we might not be able to chase those guys. Alright, so that's, that's good enough, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Set up that trade round, I suppose. And let's go ahead and end this conflict. So we're going to want to take over all the remaining territory here. That's going to be a total of six more aggressive expansion. And we should probably do the uh, <laughs> aggressive expansion reduction, no matter who the characters are, because, yeah, we need to get this uh, ticked down somewhere. Now, 49.96. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of... The levies, which I think those are both the levy armies up there, so they're not moving. Let's go and disband those. All right, so we should just have the two legions here. Uh, let's just go ahead and move them somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Move that guy over to here, I suppose. I guess he's the better one. If we were to face a rebellion anywhere, it would be up here, probably. All right, let's move these guys over here. All right, excellent. So Hispania is done with. So the next war would be against them, but we've got to burn off this aggressive expansion, guys. Uh, but we're going to have to do all that next episode. Uh, we'll also take a look and see if we have... Yeah, we don't have any cities here, all right? So that's still going to be a problem for us. So yeah, we'll uh, manage all this next episode. Uh, we're going to have to burn off aggressive expansion for a little while. And then the next tribe I want to attack is these guys here, which we don't have a claim on them, so we'd have to get one. We'll have to work on that. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the next one we'd want to attack. 
uh, so that we can link our, our territories here in Gaul and, and Hispania. Uh, so we'll be working on that in the next episode after we've burned off the aggressive expansion, which I assume we'd be able to attack them. I don't know, though. I want to get this much lower because you can see the stability is certainly a, a issue here, guys. Uh, and, yeah, we can't can't do anything there just yet. Uh, so, yeah, we got to get that, that tick down some, guys, because it's, once again, a problem for us. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. We'll, we'll spend our, our money next episode. Make sure these guys are training, but they're not. Nope, I forgot to drill them. That's why our, our military experience is so low. Let me make sure everybody's drilling. Yeah, they're not because these are all people who we sent off to fight barbarians and then we never set them up to, to start drilling again. So yeah, all these guys need to be set up to drill here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, next episode we'll uh, burn off some aggressive expansion. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next video, which will be on Tuesday. And thanks for watching.